Hey guys, before you actually get into the video, I just wanted to quickly say something very important and very personal. If you guys realize that I'm low energy in this video, the reason for that is that right now, today, I've gotten the message that my mom was delivered to the hospital yesterday at night. So I'm not really in a good mental state, but I also don't want you guys to um, yeah, miss out on content because this is my job and at the end of the day, I have to do it and um, it kind of takes my head away from what's happening at the moment as well. So um, yeah, I guess it's a good thing after all. But I just wanted to announce to you guys that for the next three days, I'm actually gonna be in the Netherlands. I'm gonna drive over there today right now because I, I got the call early in the morning. So I'm gonna be driving over there, taking my aunt with me and taking care of my mom over there in the Netherlands for the next couple of days. And then I am probably gonna be back on the 18th or 19th, just letting you guys know that this video it might be a little bit lower energy and the next videos are gonna be pre-recorded as well because I have to record these episodes before I go drive off to Netherlands because I can't record my episodes over there. So yeah, I hope you guys understand. I love you people and yeah, enjoy a good episode. Trust me, it's still good episodes, but um, I'm obviously not just like running around screaming as much as I used to. Take care, see you later on, enjoy the vid. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. Yes, this time, no audio issues. I'm sorry, guys, for the audio issues. There's something wrong with this mic and I want to punch it in the face, but we're going to be civil around here. That's not the type of stuff that we do. Guys, this is episode... Duza... Wait, wait. Duazeti she upped. That is apparently episode 28 in Romanian. Let me know in the comments down below what is episode 29 in your language as we go into the Liverpool career mode. And we are very excited to see a message come up on our phone, which obviously has to happen right when we start to record the episode great things last episode we did a madness yes we have brought in the man the myth the legend it is going to be leon goretzka joining into the team to replace fabinho in the next transfer window and now that means we can put fabinho onto the transfer list which might hurt him he might not be too happy with it he's 88 rated he might be thinking i'm one of the best players on the team but sadly fabinho you are not and for that reason we're going to be putting you onto the transfer list at the same time i want to take a look at the offers that we have received for him Barcelona wanted him for 98.9 million I should have gone ahead and negotiated at that point but we're going to move on and see what we can do in today's episode we're up against Stoke City to begin with Liverpool back on the top of the league table as you guys can see because yesterday we have beaten Manchester City and we have gotten two clean sheets in two games unbelievable scenes can you believe it against City and against Leicester we have pulled it off 1-0 victories in those games and then we struggled our way past Bristol City right there by winning on penalties stoke city coming up next and then we move into the month of november where we have a couple of champions league games and we have to focus on them of course because we want to get through into the next round but we're going to start off though today's episode with a simulation against stoke city hopefully the realism mod will help us out to get this victory right here against stoke because they shouldn't be high up in the league table stoke city currently in the 16th spot that should be an easier matchup. As we go into this match, though, let me go through a comment here from Nipo Matilia. And he says, Me. Hey, Johnny, want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. Clean sheets. What do you mean? I don't get it. You never do. <laughs> That's the joke. Dude, when I read that, I was actually laughing out loud because. <laughs> It's, exact, it's exactly what is just needed on this channel at the moment. The humor in the comments down below is actually sick. I really appreciate it, guys. Keep going on in the comments down below. 4-0 victory away from home. Let's go, boys. Beautiful stuff. I like it. 4-0 victory as Manchester City draw a draw against Spurs with a 89th minute equaliser. We move on to get three points. That's what you want to see. Our team is performing and Fabinho, of course, is surprised that he's now on the transfer list. I'm just exploring. Keep calm, Fabinho. Keep playing your football. You'll be fine. Oh, and of course, people, if you are on this video, that obviously means you enjoy this Liverpool career mode because you've been watching it for quite some time now. We are how many episodes in? 28 episodes episodes in and if you are here that means you do enjoy it so make sure to hit that like button to show the love on the channel and help us grow as well i really really do appreciate it and now i think we have a few scout updates 
will he disappoint again will they disappoint once more let's take a look at it is it happening no that time it definitely happens disappointment big time and then one more time come on come on man just give us some outstanding talent i'm just looking for that one special kid to come through the youth academy but right now ah, the overall rating is too low these guys are terrible maybe this guy no only 70k in his value boys this is this is a shambles i'm gonna sign him anyways but this is not good enough a transfer offer coming in for adam lalana 7 million accepted hopefully this time it will work out because it's bournemouth so they should be able to pay his price in terms of growth i did ask you guys a question last episode and alex appleby has come in and he says i grew he has said um i grew a 37 year old crew player chris porter to a 68 rating when he started at 62 it actually seems like dynamic potential is working and that is great to see by the way but Here's one thing that we actually need to do, which I already forgot about, and that is the fact that we have to play this 73 rated Cifuentes for 10 games this season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making him the main goalkeeper in the reserves team, the team which is used whenever the under 23s are too tired and a lot of players from the main team are tired as well. This is going to be the team that he jumps into. Alisson is going to drop out of that one. And yeah, hopefully it's not going to be that much of a big issue for him. But we're going to move on into the Champions League. And this could potentially be the game which we win. And then make sure that we get into the next round. Now, if this game is played, played away from home, we're going to jump in there against At Atalanta ourselves. And we're going to try our best to get a good result. But it is being played at home. So that means we're actually going to be simming this one. And you know what? Cifuentes is going to get his chance today Alison. i'm sorry bro you're not going to get this get your chance today it is going to be the old man jumping in for the objective that we obviously are chasing down against atalanta i am expecting a good performance we have done well in the champions league so far and it's a 1-0 victory with usman dembele scoring that's what you like to see a game has been simmed in this month we have to sim two games a month as you guys do know and now up against bournemouth in the league it's going to be oh player of the month award for jimenez quite interesting to see and then bournemouth currently by the way manchester united only one point behind us newcastle two points newcastle is doing really well i wonder who they have brought in but we're up against bournemouth who are in the 15th spot and again this is not a game that i should be scared of and maybe this is the one that I can sim and then focus on the rest and play those games in this month of November. I think that's what we're going to do, boys. And we're going to be simming this one with Cifuentes once again. But I want to make sure that I don't have any questions coming in from Alison. No, we don't. We will go ahead and tell Elvedi there's bigger games to be played. Don't you worry, mate. You're going to be getting enough play time. And Lalana has been sold to Bournemouth. It has actually worked out. That is great to see. In the next month, obviously, the transfer window is coming quite close. But we are in November, aren't we? Okay, so two more months to go until Goretzka joins, in, joins into the team and Lalana leaves the squad. I am expecting a great result right here against Bournemouth. This should be a banger. Yes, it is. A 3-0 victory. I'm just hoping that Trent somehow managed to get any assists or anything like that because, guys, we have been struggling. We have actually been struggling with the, the objectives. None of the fan objectives have actually improved in the last two episodes as you can see on your screen right now nothing has happened i haven't been able to work towards any of them and that is not a good sign two episodes without progress that's not what you want to see so right now we have trent on two assists still so that means he hasn't gotten himself any assists in those games and that is rough and alison is coming in and saying thanks for listening and giving me an extended run on the team well mate um just to inform you, the last two games you actually haven't played. Good message, EA. The league table is interesting, man. Manchester United up there with 27, Newcastle 26, Manchester City with 25. I just want to know why is Newcastle so good? Why is this team playing so well in the last two seasons? Aranguiz has um, five goals in 12 games. They don't have an outstanding striker. In terms of assists, none of their players are up here. That is so odd to see. I wonder how they're doing it. Is it like a team effort, I guess? 
clean sheets maybe okay the goalkeeper is doing well he has four clean sheets in six matches that is quite impressive if you ask me and so far Liverpool on five clean sheets De Gea is on eight the second place team Manchester United definitely benefiting a lot from the fact that they have that goalkeeper in their squad by the way talking about Manchester United here is a comment from Harish Bula and he says can't wait for the Sunday match LFC versus Manchester United and yes it's about to happen and apparently De Gea has gotten injured in an international game which could mean that De Gea is missing against Liverpool which could mean instead of only 3-0 it could be 6-0 against Manchester United I'm looking forward to that game man I can't wait to see what happens I don't want to be too um, too overconfident I know that Manchester United always will try their best against Liverpool no matter what happens so I don't expect to smash them 6-0 obviously but it would be great if we could get a convincing victory over Manchester United. A lot of teams have done it in the past. They are in a very, very bad state. And I do believe that if we do beat them, Manchester United will probably get rid of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They're probably already knowing that it's going to happen and have already worked out a new coach to join in. That's at least how I feel like it's going on right now. Now against Fulham, are we going to use the main team? Um, I, I think we will. I think we will. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We're going to use the main team. We're going to jump in there. And then later on, we might sub in some of the youngsters. Here it begins then up against Fulham, who have actually gone up into the Premier League in the last season now. And it seems like this will be quite an interesting matchup for us because we haven't played against them yet. And the new patch is on the game. If you guys have watched my videos on the channel yesterday, I have made a video about the new patch. So this is going to be quite an experience today while playing on the new patch. I'm looking forward to see what kind of an impact it actually has on ultimate difficulty as we play through down the wings with Usman. Usman in the middle. Firmino. Usman. Oh, I should have played it. That is not what I should have done. Rui Fonte plays it inside. Van Dijk struggling against the lads in the middle. It's going to be Fulham and Sifuentes. He is making the save. I didn't even realize that I still have him in the squad. But take a look at that save from the old man. The reactions of a young cat. Bobby. Well done, Bobby. Ah, oh, good save from Bialkowski. Bobby with the heel to heel that actually resulted in a... Um, in a pana, Alan, on his right foot, Bobby is just about, <laughs> just about deflecting that off the target. Oh yes, Bobby with the turn. Bobby Firmino, what? How did I miss that? Come on, lads. We need to do better with the aiming. I've been missing a lot of sitters lately. Serge. Oh my god, Serge Gnabry, what an incredible pass that is. Bruno Fernandes, he's going to do it, isn't he? He is going to be doing it. Goal! Goal, 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 Bruno Fernandes. 1-0 against Fulham. This is what you like to see running through the referee right there, as you guys have seen it just a moment ago. Fabinho does possess magical features, as you can tell. Bruno Fernandes, after an exceptional pass from Serge Gnabry, which I never thought would arrive at his feet but it actually did and Fernandez continues his great season so far I've been very impressed with that guy he definitely is a key player in this team already beautiful Alan Bruno Fernandez the defenders completely falling for it there's something wrong with the AI I don't know what EA have done but there is something wrong it feels much easier to get past the defense like that situation right there, I need to just put point this out. This has happened multiple times now, where I play a pass into my player, right? And right when the pass arrives, just like that, the defender just run, runs past me. What's happening? Have they messed it up? Okay, seems like they can still attack though, as Sifuentes is showing once again why it's actually not as bad to have the oldest player in FIFA in our team. The man is old, but he is performing. That's what we like to see as we get it into Alan. Alan now down to Nabri. Nabri now with the pace. Nabri with the cutting. Nabri with the skills trying to get inside the box. He still is on the ball. Nabri turns back. Nobody goes. Too many people chasing him down. And I messed it up. I should have 
I should have just taken the shots at some point. Alan. Alan, beautiful stuff. Firmino with the turn and no finish coming in this time around. It is decent defending from Fulham as they try to counter attack at this stage. Fabinho, knowing that he's on the transfer list, trying to impress. Does well enough there. Nice passing. Dembele gets taken out. Dembele stands back up. Dembele gets taken out once again. That has to be a yellow card at some point, ref. There has to be a yellow card at some point. You have to give it. It's a free kick now, and I'm getting better at free kicks, by the way. So hopefully, we can actually put this in. Let's see if I can, people. I'm going to try to be as accurate as I humanly possibly can be. Oh, this could go in, you know. This could... Ah, I'm getting better. I'm getting better, as you can see. At least we have hit the target. And now Fulham trying to get in behind. They might have a chance here. Good passing play, getting them into a good spot. It's a good cross. Cifuentes comes out, saves it, and it lands in front of the feet of their midfielder. It's 1-1. Clean sheet is gone. Cifuentes tried his best, but instead of punching that one out, could he have just grabbed it? Nah, it's too far away. Fabinho not paying attention, sleeping right there. And instead, it is De La Torre coming in with the equalizer. Not really the best performance from our team, I gotta be honest. And it's time for some changes. Wilson coming in. Brewster comes in now down the left-hand side. And we're going to bring on Nabi Keita to maybe get something done in the attack instead of Fabinho, actually. So let's move him back in there again. Aite running in behind. It is going to be Sifuentes again with a last titch. A uh, last ditch touch on the ball as we try and create some space now with Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson into Bruno Fernandes. Firmino. Oh, that's, that's such a bad pass. We're asking for people to make runs. Harry Wilson into Nabi Keita. Nabi Keita back into the middle. At least he tried to play it. We're into the extra, um, extra minutes right here. Harry Wilson. Keita. Don't mess it up, bros. Don't mess it up like that. It's going to be a draw against Fulham. I can't believe it. Oh, that is just not what you want. It's only a draw which is going to allow teams like Manchester United to maybe take over the first position. Even Newcastle could be sitting at the top of the league table at this stage. Even though I felt the defense was easy to get past, I couldn't create enough chances Cifuentes, one of the best players in this game for sure. He has been outstanding. What is his rating in this one? 7.6 only. Hmm. I think he was better than that. So as you guys can tell, in the Champions League, we are actually through into the next round already, which is a beautiful thing to see. Now, we're going to be jumping into this team real quick and taking out Cifuentes to make sure Alisson gets more playing time again. Cifuentes is probably very happy with the fact that he's played that many games. And Hoover, I had in there for, as an accident. So Trent Alexander-Arnold returns back into the default team, the um, starting 11 that is the best team. And then for the reserves, that is where Kiana can come in and take over his position right there. That is what we originally wanted to do, and that is what we needed to do right now. The reserves team, though, by the way, the under-23s is a very good team. I just need to do a little bit better in terms of my finishing and stuff, and then things could turn around nicely. Now, the under-23s, you know what? They're going to get their chance right now against Shakhtar to prove themselves. If they can get a victory right here or a draw, we are through into the next round as the first placed team. So, Shakhtar, come on. Liverpool, do it. It's a 1-0 victory. And who is it? Of course, it is Danny Olmo taking us into the next round of the Champions League. Very nice to see. By the way, Inter uh, winning 3-0 and Martinez scoring. I think Lautaro plays in my team, mate. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oh, they have brought in Joseph Martinez. Wow. Okay. He has played five games so far and scored four goals. They have replaced one Martinez with the other. Quite interesting to see what they have done right there. Lautaro, you have been replaced, buddy. And he is a decent player as well. 
Kiana Hoover grows to a 74 and at the same time let's take a look at the league table people because things have changed. Manchester United have taken over that first position right now and that is not anything that we like to see. Newcastle and Manchester City right behind us as well. We need to be performing better and in terms of clean sheets has he added more to it? David De Gea? No, he is still on eight. So Alisson needs to start getting more now. We need to play Alisson in Premier League games for sure. Because um, Sifuentes, we can just play him in other games like Champions League and stuff. And Alisson, we're going to try and use in the Premier League, obviously, to get more clean sheets. So against Chelsea now, the sixth place team in the league with the new patch. This is going to be quite interesting to see how it's going to go. I am expecting a battle on the pitch. So Liverpool, show me what you got right now against Chelsea. And only a couple of days after this, we are actually up against Spurs. And that is not what you like to see. The under-23s will have to play against Spurs in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal and that is going to be tough enough and what is that schedule by the way holy moly all right then Chelsea coming up with Christensen as their captain quite interesting to see Kenny Dalglish on the TFOs this should be a good game against Chelsea I'm looking forward to it the main team is fully fit and um, I am expecting one of the best performances of the season because in order to beat the likes of Kante, we have to come in with world-class performances. The coach is not looking too happy about the fact that it's raining. He probably hates the fact that his haircut is getting wet. I can imagine that haircut to be tough to deal with when it does get wet though. I appreciate him and his honesty right there with the emotions in his face. Yes, good steal by Robertson. Ah, oh, that's a bad ball. Oh, Fabinho. Bad ball. Talking about bad balls. Here's a good one from Bruno. Bruno Fernandes. He does it again. It's an absolute masterclass of Bruno Fernandes against Chelsea right here. Take a look at this man and his celebrations. He is going crazy. He does one-handed push-ups. He does handstands along with dances. The masterclass of Bruno Fernandes is showing right now. Take a look at that pass from Firmino, by the way. And what a finish with his right foot. I thought he was would use his left foot but he just went with an outside of the boot finish that was just perfect no chance for Kepa perfect start into the game against Chelsea nine goals in the Premier League for Bruno Fernandes I think he has more than Firmino Alan I see that run from Dembele Dembele cuts in Dembele Bruno do it bang the ball is flying, it's flying, it's a hole in one, it's a hole in one for Bruno Fernandes, take a look at it, Dembele cuts in, plays it, big mistake in the defense of Chelsea by giving away the ball early and that just proves once again you have to be alert, you have to be awake to get these chances done, Bruno Fernandes with his 10th goal in the Premier League, Chelsea is shocked. Good ball. Dembele, oh my god, Bruno Fernandes, that is ridiculous, that is outstanding. And Fabinho doesn't get it done. Bruno again, what a pass with the back heel. Unbelievable stuff as we completely dominate Chelsea so far. I don't believe they have gotten outside of their own half. I'm not even joking, it's been 15 minutes of complete domination from Bruno Fernandes and his teammates. Firmino, Firmino, Firmino! No! The AI is clueless right now. They just don't know how to deal with this team. It's impossible for them to stop the force of Liverpool. At Anfield, the fans are going mental as Firmino gets the third one early on into the game. Take a look at this. Bruno gets himself the assist this time. Christensen not capable to catch up to the likes of Firmino. That is the, the type of performance that we want to see from our team. Very clean, very good, and insanely fast. Seven goals in the Premier League for Firmino, 10 for Bruno Fernandes. What a game. Firmino back heels, Bruno Fernandes. Oh my God, eyes closed. Did it go in? No, it didn't go in. I, I tried to score one eyes closed, but Alan takes the shot. Where did it go? It went towards the right direction, but he just isn't a good finisher. Oh, did you see that pass from Fabinho? Oh my God, that was the sickest pass I've seen on FIFA. 
Here goes Dembele. Let's make something of it. Dembele. Back into Fabinho. I'm looking for him. Fabinho deserves this one. Fabinho. Can't take up against him. Fabinho. Fabinho. He's going through. He's trying to tank his way through. The Scorpion pass from Fabinho inspired this entire attack. This Liverpool team is going crazy right now. Nabri getting in behind. What a ball from Robertson. Serge wants to take part in the goal scoring. Firmino and Kepa saves it, but he keeps it inside of the net. It is Bobby Firmino with the celebration of the day. Two goals for him, two goals for Bruno Fernandes. What an incredible match this has been so far. Unbelievable performance from Liverpool as we tear apart the defense of Chelsea in the first half. This is gonna be a record-breaking game for us on FIFA 20. If we keep on going like this, this is gonna be a bashing of Chelsea. We are basically canceling Chelsea at this point. Chelsea is canceled. Oh no, Pulisic, don't take my clean sheet away. Don't take my clean sheet away, man. Ah. Oh. I can be dominating teams, I can be scoring 20 goals, and no matter what happens, there is always that one goal that hurts me. Ah, Pulisic gets past me too easily, and of course, Willian, in that position, will not miss. Yeah, go ahead, make your jokes about clean sheets, go ahead. Bruno, good cross. Oh, it's a header onto their own target. Nabri, Kepa saves it this time. That was a big mistake there from their defense. I don't know what they were doing. Let's try and bring on some substitutes for the second half to maybe chase down some objectives. So I'm thinking of um, Harry Wilson to begin with immediately. I don't know what is happening, but the AI is playing much better all of a sudden. Take a look at this. This is mental. This is actually mental. The first half, they weren't able to create any chances and now they just scored the sickest goal. That is unbelievable football from Chelsea. It's 4-2. Should I be scared? Just subbed on the likes of Brewster and Genie Van Alden. Harry Wilson now just about outside the box. Gets pushed off the ball. Good defending there from the opponents. As we try and get this ball back into a more attacking position. Brewster. Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson gets... Just gets pushed off the ball too easily as Bruno Fernandes keeps on getting this ball back into the team. I don't know why Harry Wilson just kicked that ball away, but we're going to move on. I have to admit, I am impressed with Chelsea's performance in the second half. They were insane with their passing play, just like myself right here. As Brewster is going to try and send it through into Bruno Fernandes in the last minute, but it doesn't work out. It's a 4-2 victory against Chelsea. A massive win against a top six side. Even though the first half was incredible for Liverpool, the second half just was not good enough. The coach is happy despite wet hair. He is okay with the fact that his team won this game 4-2. Clean sheet couldn't be kept. But it is a great performance overall from our team. And that is what we care about. Very happy with this one. It is a big win against a big side who turned up in the second half. Well, here we go again. Another month of scouting. Let's see if it is going to be another month of disappointment. I'm going to be releasing a lot of these young kids very soon. They need to go. Yeah, we need to get rid of all of these. And then we're going to come back in the other scout report as well. Hmm. Innocent Kamara, what a name. This is one that actually looks decent. We're going to sign him up 250k in his value, people. So finally, we have found ourselves a decent talent from the scout reports. It has been a long time now. Um, this one we can sign as well, 130k in his value. 120k in his value, but bad potential. We're going to move on into the last scout report. And this one will be coming in from Italy, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully it's going to be a good one. In the end, I am expecting someone, at least one good player from two months of scouting in Italy. These are four-star, four-star scouts. And there we go. This guy has amazing potential, but has terrible overall. So there's no reason for me to buy him people. I'm sorry. It's going to take too long to grow these play people to uh, usable players. Again, not good enough. This one, 250k. All right, great potential. Yes, he joins in. So finally, we do get some decent talents in. Matteo Santoro. 
Never going to make it, but I guess we're going to sign him up anyways. And that is the last one. And with that, we are done with a month of decent talents being signed. Real Madrid. Now coming in for Fabinho, let's negotiate and see if we can get rid of him for huge amounts of money. I want 110 million for Fabinho. Yes, I know it's insane, but Real Madrid are insane themselves. We have just sold Fabinho for 110 million. Zidane has come in and grabbed him immediately. Barcelona missed out on their chance to buy in one more Barcelona, uh, one more Liverpool player. And yes, that is the signing that we have been waiting for to confirm 110 million. Fabinho is gone. He is gone. Sadly, wasn't as good as I expected him to be. On Ultimate Team as well, I used him for like three matches. Then I had to get rid of him immediately because he just was terrible. Not good enough on FIFA 20 in my opinion. So if you guys are looking for a CDM, don't get him in my personal opinion. I don't know what you like. But for me, I like people who are a bit more agile, a bit more fast. And yeah, Fabinho just wasn't that for me. And especially in this career mode as well, despite being 88 rated, he just wasn't good enough. And with that 110 million, deal done now we're going to jump into the league table take a final look at it before we move into the next episode where we have to play with the under 23s against tottenham that is going to be an interesting one liverpool up there with 32 points right behind manchester united and city is chasing us down as well this is a much more enjoyable season a lot more pressure on ourselves to get to the top of the league table and in terms of goals scored as well i think Bruno Fernandes might be up there now. And yes, he is. He's in the fourth position. Firmino is in sixth. Bruno Fernandes is the player of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Looking forward to the match against the under-23s. Take care. Peace.